engaging the youth more. Within our GAF, um, uh, which is for empowering and self-reliance, I think I have been able to help more than 100 groups of youth in Kirinyaga County uh, in different ways, social, economic, and even within the school uh, and increasing their value within the society. Uh, very well then, uh, because we may not have a lot of time, we have about one hour. I want to welcome every youth that's live on FB. We can see there are so many of them. We want to welcome all of you into this webinar and you can send your questions. We will be looking at them. We will be answering them. And I will be doing my best like I have always done to involve, engage, and also to have you uh, feel within the leadership uh, arena. Uh, your thoughts are also very welcome. We can advise each other and we can also even uh, sharpen each other. Like they say, iron sharpens iron. I know I have a lot of iron youths around here. Karibuni sana. Moving forward, maybe probably I can give a little bit of uh, the history that I have had with um, engagement with youths. And we have been able to like fund up to 20, uh, funding 25 groups. We've been able to uh, help with the car wash machines and all that, a value addition, another 25 groups, we've been able to give uh, football uniforms to 36 teams in our county. We have been able to take to school 148 university students and more than 300 uh, students from the high schools. Um, at the same time, I have been able to engage and get involved in the lives of more than 100 students since I got elected, but before we had a lot of students that I lived with and worked with day to day and followed their progress. I look forward to hearing and to working together. Right now, I'm throwing the ball to your court. I think some of you should, um, we should come in like, I don't know how many have questions right now. I don't want to preempt, but I want to have questions thrown, I mean, put in. Good afternoon. Oh, Sami, good. Karibu, Sami. Sorry. Asante sana, Meli. Thank you so much. Okay, we missed out on the prayer. I believe you're going to do that. Yes, KK. Fine, thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you, Kennedy. Uh,
Yes? Okay, thank you very much. Um, I think I'll start with Sam Meli. Uh, Sam, I think for every youth that is here, um, Sam says that we need to pray before we start. Okay, thank you. Let's start pray. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you this afternoon for giving us this one very special moment. We thank you as we engage with different youths for this, uh, this youth week. And we want to pray that God, you're going to be with each one of us. Let us give each other advices that would help. And we want to pray that, God, you're going to be with each and every youth from Kirinyaga County and from every other county that is engaged in this and even others that might be watching us through Facebook. We want to thank you even for the other youth that may not be with us. But, Father, we pray that each and every youth shall be touched by your spirit, that they are going to work, to, work, to work towards the development of this country and their own development. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, well, thank, <laughs> thank you. Uh, once again, uh, Kenneth, uh, you've asked about uh, how we are engaging the youth within our county to work, uh, to have work or youth employment. Very well. Uh, in the National Government Affirmative Action Fund, which is um, within what the women rep of this country have been allowed to work where we have very limited funds, but at the same time we are engaged and we have a vote heads that guide us in towards helping the youth, people with disabilities and women. And all this money uh, is given per constituency, which is about 6.5 to 7 million a year for every constituency. Bearing in mind, some constituencies may be having more than eight wards, like I have one that has eight wards, and we have other constituencies that may be less, uh, having less wards. But uh, considering that some counties have uh, probably, we, we call it uh, less, um, less, I mean, counties have less constituencies. I am glad and I thank God that I'm in a county which has four constituencies. Um, some are extensive, some are expansive, but we pray that if we work hard and work smart as women, we are going to be able to help the youth, people with disabilities, and we are also going to help um, the youth within our counties and the women. Uh, in my county specifically, I have been able to engage with different youths, and I have asked them because it is a requirement by the GAF that um, we give uh, if we're giving any um, economic empowerment funds, it's usually for 60 youths and it's only 100,000. That is the cap that has been put. And the youths have to have a registered group, which must be operational for more than six months, and they must have a project that's ongoing. If it is value addition, uh, it has to have a project if it is for economic empowerment, it has to be maybe table banking, for example, or they must uh, pick out a project that is visible and tangible that can be seen. That is why I said that we had given some youths some car wash machines. And you will be surprised that uh, some youths, when you uh, had given about 20 washing machines, uh, car wash machines, but you realize only five groups now are still functional and some of them maybe went out of their way and sold them out, which I think we still as leaders and parents need to guide our youths because most of the youths will expect that because I am a politician and I am a women representative and I am getting a certain chunk of money from GAF that I will be able to fund each youth for your own business. But I think in our own a motto as Kenyans, we know that umoja ni nguvu, and we should start somewhere. 
That's why I say a journey of a thousand, uh, a thousand miles start with one step. So they need to take that step forward and put together their groups so that they can even help each other uh, to grow. So that by the time you part from each other, you will be able to grow. I also encourage my youth that besides getting the small, uh, maybe 100,000 for 60 youths, if they have a big project, they can move forward. I have a group from um, uh, some place in uh, Kirinyaga in Mwe constituency in, um, uh, in a ward that's called Mutidi Ward in an area that is called, um, in an area that is called uh, um, Makutano. That group uh, took 100,000 because they wanted to do the chicken, uh, the chicken farming, and they wanted to do the, uh, the Kenyeji chicken farming. And I can tell you we have grown together with them because they moved forward and got Uezo fund because they needed to do more chicken. They moved forward and went also for the youth fund, which does not require you, uh, stop you from getting if you have gotten the other funds. So I've always said, if you need more, you can get uh, the GAF fund, which is not refundable. But it's a fund that we follow up to make sure that it was not misused in the end. But at the same time, move forward and get to the, to the other funds. And once you get the other funds, you can increase your farming if you're doing farming. You can increase your production if you're doing production of probably... Um, whatever kind of production, rice, rice farming, you can be doing tomato farming. There are so many that are funded, and they have moved forward to get more money from other uh, government uh, areas where they can be funded, and which has a lower interest rate. So that is what we do to get the youth to work. Otherwise, if the youth are not able to do that, we have started the programs of taking the youth now... Uh, to, uh, to, for training, okay, in different areas. And we are still also encouraging that the youths go to the, uh, to the youth polytechnics so that they can also run some trade. Because you cannot say you don't have, at, uh, I mean, you don't have work, yet you have no trade that you have learned that you can do. So that is how we are working with the youth right now. Fine, thank you. Yes. 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 Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, thank you, Titus. Yes, thank you, Titus. Well, I have been having a program that's called Boy, Boy and Girl, uh, uh, the program for Boy and Girl, the one that I launched uh, last year but one, and different schools have benefited from it, uh, where we have been, uh, we have been looking at uh, issues to do with uh, early pregnancies, menstrual hygiene, and uh, drug abuse, and also... As much as there's little uh, FGM in our county, uh, we are also dealing with the, the issue of um, FGM, uh, which is about 0.4%, which means that um, it, it also affects our county, which is also uh, done to youths and all the children. So, well, and uh, among them uh, is the drug abuse. And the only thing that I can do, I have uh, partnered with the uh, Lions of Kenya, and uh, we go by school. And right now, because there are no schools, we are working on a program where we can be working with, um, we can work uh, with the local uh, administration so that we can call them like 50, 50 per word, and then we can speak to them. Actually, our action will, uh, we're going to begin uh, in the coming week where we're going to meet youths in different wards at the chief's camp so that we do not go against the government uh, advice for 
social distancing and also not to go against the new rules that we have. Uh, it's called the new normal. Thank you. Yeah, and when I come to Mokore, please come and say hi. Thank you. Afternoon. Yes, Nash. Yes, very much. Thank you, Nashingari, for joining us. I'm glad that you're here, and um, it's good that uh, I have received quite a number of, um, uh, sometimes you send me some of uh, this, um, it's called what, I would call it probably information, and also questions, that uh, this, a discussion that we've had for a long time. And thank you, because it's good that the youth are listening, um, that we don't have necessarily to use funds or we have to think about the uh, the monetary resources that we can have it is also good also that we can have the uh, resources that are at hand which normally is information that is uh, very good to be armed with once you get the information then you can be able to move forward to uh, apply it and you can uh, Man, have the monetary gains out of it. Uh, and I also want to say that it is important that we all uh, listen to one another and have an uh, engagement that can be fruitful at the end. And I'm inviting you, Nash, uh, with all the, uh, probably the team that can be able to join us, that we can be able to increase the number, we can be able to achieve achieve the increment of numbers because I cannot be able to do the entire county on my own in two or maybe one month, but with more people, then we can have TOTs that can be uh, uh, put on board and then we can give them the 12-pointer uh, points that we can have and then we can disperse from the, uh, and then we can disperse everybody and we can have as many tutorials as possible for the youths so we can be able to achieve a higher number of youths within our county. So all the people that are able to join us, we can have an enlisting whereby we can be able to achieve what you are asking. Yes. 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 Ha, 
hundred percent. Hundred percent. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Thank you. We already have uh, 15 enlisted. We were going to start it on Thursday. We need more and we need you on board. And we are going to highlight the pointers which we are going to, of course, discuss uh, in box, right? Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, yes. Hello. Oh, Anthony. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Um, Kelvin? Good afternoon, Kelvin. Jero. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm listening. We can hear you. Yes. Accept who? I accept people. I accept, accept people. Oh, admit. Okay, 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 okay. Admit. Okay. Okay. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, so Kevin, go on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Repeat that, Kevin. I don't hear you. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, that is what we were talking uh, when we said that we will need to have uh, an, an area where we can, uh, we can now start meeting with the youths. Like uh, one of the speakers here said earlier, 
that we need where we can meet, like with 50 youths, where we can probably, after we give them what is offered by GAF to us, then even the youths will have their voice and they will have their chance to speak to me and the people that now, the TOTs, the, the, the teachers or the speakers that will have sent to their ward or within their area, so that we can be able to uh, probably have something, like you said, individually tailor-made. But at the same time, there can be others who are interested in the same thing and where my GAF uh, kitty can be able to um, also uh, uh, welcome them, or probably we call it uh, put them on board and put them together so that they can work together because once you work together, even those people that work in companies, uh, Kevin, uh, you work hoping that one time in your life you will be able probably to come up with the same kind of company like the one you're working for. So if you're brilliant and you're hardworking enough and if you put your focus and soul into the thing that you want to do, you will always get it. But if you start as many people, it's even better because you will learn from others. So as we start that, uh, as we start that um, program next week, we look forward to working with many youths that will also uh, probably give us their way of thinking and see how we can help them. I've been able to personally or uh, individually help youths when probably they don't reach the threshold of the gap and they have a project or a program that I believe in. I have been able to engage them personally, one-on-one, -on -one, and we come together with people who can be able to uh, uh, help them with their program or project. Like I, like one of the speakers was here, Nash Ngari, I know that he has been able to train youths without having to be funded by anybody, which is good. Like we said, we don't have to look more into the monetary part, but also in, into the also information that I need to give you. I could give you information that can help you. There could be a program that is funded by equity. I could be aware of it and you don't know. That's where we are going to meet the youths in small, small groups. They will give us their thoughts. We will, uh, we will work with them from now on. And by next year, Youth Week, we want to report success stories from the ones that we shall engage from now on. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right. Thank you, Kevin. Um, I'm thinking we have already, we have such, we have such, eh? We have such, Kevin, and uh, I hope you are going to be looped in. We will put it on our Facebook page. We will be putting it uh, across for other youths from, from other counties to see. It's a good question. It's noted. Yeah, we, there are such uh, organizations that fund individuals, but in GAF, we are not allowed. Actually, even in um, youth fund, right now they are still funding, but now depends on the individual and the project that they present, project proposal that they present, okay? So thank you. Let's have a new one. Uh, yeah?
All right, all right. Yeah, yeah, that's why I'm here, not hearing clearly. Uh, kindly, everybody mute, and, and then maybe when you have your hand up, then I'll pick it. And once we finish, you can uh, put your hand down. I'm muted. Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, okay. So everybody is muted right now. So, yeah, the noise is less. So let's see the next hand. Whose hand is up? Sami? No. Oh, afternoon, Mele. Yeah, I get you. I get you. Um, who else is speaking there? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Melly, uh, okay. It's a pleasure, uh, once again, it's good to realize that uh, this, um, we were caught up in this, um, uh, with this coronavirus uh, issue, and uh, everybody got a little bit confused. And uh, we expected to go back to school every time there was, uh, we always were looking forward to better news. And now that we have realized that we have to stay, and the students have to stay home, throughout the school days, that is one of the things that now I have uh, been discussing with everybody and I have been saying once again that we have to start doing the counseling, which was going on earlier, which I was um, partnering with Lions of Kenya, and we had been going to schools before. We were actually um, engaging high school students on the drug abuse, who were engaging the girls, on uh, early pregnancies, we're engaging them on uh, menstrual hygiene, we're engaging them on so many areas. But right now, we have to tailor make a new program because before the girl and boy campaign was a four pointer campaign. Now, like we earlier said, we need to come up with like a 12 pointer, which will still include the four pointer campaign. And we are now going to move forward and uh, see how we are going to engage even the younger ones. Because we cannot just leave um, uh, the ones that I am actually put in the place for are not the ones that can access the webinar. They are those ones that do not even have telephone, uh, telephones, even the Kabambe. 
they are the ones that we need to engage really because they are the ones you see that are getting pregnant. They are the ones that you see have nothing to do at home. And uh, like the Bible says, an idle mind is a devil's workshop. So to avoid this, before they used to go to church, and then now the church uh, is less. They, they, they go like it's in a uh, hundred, you know. So like a hundred people, a church that can hold up to a thousand people maybe is getting 200 people. So we have to come up with a new program that will be tailor-made to meet everybody. Ones that can afford uh, mobile phones, ones that can afford uh, laptops, and ones that cannot afford especially the ones in the villages, the ones in the interior parts of our, uh, our countries and counties. I know areas and places where the children, since they went home, have never seen a book because books are in school. They use one book or two books for the entire class. Now the teacher cannot go home to home, but as a leader, I can be able to access them by, ha by having them brought or come to the chief's camp or uh, they are able we are able to meet a hundred within their school compound we can have a program where we are going fast to work with the form fours uh, the university students maybe the final years and also we are going to work with the uh, class eights because all these need our services and also we are going to have programs where those ones that did their form four last year those ones are the ones that really also need our, um, we need to speak to. Because most of them feel frustrated that they have not gone to university, that they have not gone to Form 1. Those are students that really need counseling because uh, they feel they are being robbed a whole year of their life. So I am going to uh, meet with them. I am going to be able to provide books for them. The only way that I can be able to do this, I am approaching people that, uh, I mean, partners that can work with me. Because even the people that we are going to involve here, even the non-governmental organizations that we approach every day in, day out, I have done that. And most of them are saying they have diverted their funding and their resources and their um, uh, human uh, human resource to COVID uh, to fight COVID-19, but having COVID-19 has not uh, we have not died. We are still here. Our lives have to go on somehow. So that's why I I am pleading with people that are able to join into this to come and work with me, especially in my Kirinjaga County where I can be one on one and now have something that we can tailor make for the ones that have already cleared for Stradiate. I will not go and give them tuition for Form 1, but we can have them have something that they can do so that they can be able to feel like these four months are not going to be the craziest time of their lifetime. Thank you. Thank you. Very well, thank you. Uh, I have seen that uh, we have a new memo uh, that is within my National Government Affirmative Action Fund. 
that has given us just a little bit of um, from the usual. Uh, they've given us uh, some votes that should work on the girl child and uh, the women. I'm also uh, looking uh, also into, uh, I'm very lucky, I have local funding, so my local funding, my, my friends that is uh, that are able to help me with human resource, that are able to help me with their personal resources and what they could be able to afford to deal with this, um, this kind of issues that have come up because of corona. So as we put now the, the pointers and tailor make uh, the, the approach to these girls, it is one of the things that I personally have advocated for, that no girl should stop going to school because she gave birth, that no girl should stop going to school because she's pregnant, that um, especially with this time of COVID, we can be able to, one, counsel them, and two, help them into joining schools uh, in the next year, going back uh, to school next year. And that is why I have said whether you're an orphan, whether you're raped, some of them are raped and they keep quiet and they uh, drop out of school. I have told them dropping out of school is not enough, is not good. They should come back, go back to school. I will help them with, with bursary from my kitty. I will also look for people to help in funding them to go back to school because at the end of the day, the only thing and the only um, winner legacy that I can leave is a legacy of students that completed school and I worked with them throughout that time that they were thinking maybe they are completely out. Thank you. So thank you very much. I think we are about, uh, we got 10 minutes to go. And um, I want to thank everybody that has been able to engage with us this afternoon. I want to say that it is uh, very encouraging to see that a lot of people what again okay I want to say that there are so many people that have been listening to us there have been so many people that have been watching us we want to say thank we want to say thank you very very much uh, it is very good to engage it is very good to listen and you must know that I am a listener uh, and God bless all of you, and God be with you. Uh, once again, niseme asanteni sana kwa kuwa mumeingia katika hii webinar ambayo tumekuwa uh, tukisikiza. Wale ambao wote walikuwa wanatuangalia kwa uh, uh, Facebook, wale ambao walikuwa wameingia katika online uh, ya webinar, tumesema asanti sana. Mimi kama... Uh, ambaye amechaguliwa ambaye nasema i am your servant leader nitakuwa naendelea kufanya kazi na nyinyi youth ambao nauliza kwamba muwe mnaendelea katika mipangilio ya Republic of Kenya katika kuwa ambao wako kipao mbele ya kufanya kazi na ambayo itaendelea kutusaidia kama wa Kenya kuwa tunafanya Kenya iwe a developed country na county ya Kirenyaga iwe a developed county. Ni vizuri kwamba tumekuwa tunasikizana, nimesikiza vile mmesema, nimesikiza maswali yenu na maswali yenu haswa imekuwa uh, ambayo pia imenisaidia kuelewa kwamba kuna vile vijana hawajafaidika katika uh, ngazi fulani uh, zingine fulani fulani ambazo zimewekwa mikakati na serikali. Kwa hivyo uh, I will endeavor kufikisha uh, ujumbe katika uh, bunge ya taifa na ningeomba wote tupatane katika hii engagement ambayo itakuwa ni ya Youth Week and I am wishing every youth a very blessed and a happy week and please make sure you engage 
for global action let us see vile uh, kaunti yetu yote tutakuwa tuna engage kusaidia kaunti ya Kirinyaga ndio tuweze kuonekana kama youths na vile si, pia sisi tujisaidie kama youths na ningependa ndio tumalize zote tufunge macho ndio tuombe asanteni uh, our heavenly father we want to thank you for this engagement that we had with the youths of Kenya today i want to thank you because you have been with us we want to thank you because you're going to continue to be with us we pray that every youth shall be opened up they shall you shall open their minds you shall open their hearts that they will be able to engage for their own good and they will be able even to thank you whenever they are able to reach out and help themselves and help their counties we thank you and we worship you for you are our living god that has taken care of us in jesus name we pray and we believe amen asanteni sana na bwana awabariki na wapenda sana 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 and i look forward to having such an engagement